full transparency, I've tried to make some other videos on job market topics about the struggle to advance, to get promotions, even some more positive news about how to master your interviews. And that's not the content you want from me, which is fine. I'm here to give the people what they want. So based on the views as of late, I can tell that what you guys want from me is news about layoffs. And in 2024, unfortunately, there's plenty of companies doing layoffs, downsizing, furloughs, and other kinds of reductions in force. So there should be plenty to talk about week after week and plenty of videos to be made. Today, I wanna to talk about an online giant that is in the space of teaching and learning and courses. It's a company that is based out of San Francisco. It's one that I've used myself to do learning such as when I was studying to become a certified project management professional and to learn other things like some software I wanted to learn. I think I took a course on like Salesforce and some other things. This is a company that is based out of San Francisco and recently they announced that they're going to be laying off approximately 20% of their workforce. Now we talked about a lot of layoffs here on this channel, but it seems like 20% of the entire workforce is going to be one of the highest. If you watch the video on the Shell layoffs, it was more like a section of Shell. Under that umbrella, 20% was being laid off. But with this company here today, we're talking about 20% of the overall workforce that could easily be let go very, very soon. So I have a couple of articles today, and I want to go into what's going on with this online education giant that I've used personally and you've probably used as well, especially if you're in the technology industry. So let's dive in. Looks like we have some gray clouds to go along with this kind of sad news about another company doing, I would say, a massive amount of layoffs, a large percentage when it comes to letting go people in one fail swoop. So the company I'm talking about today is Udemy. And like I said, this is a company I've used before and let me know if you've worked there in the past, you work there currently, or even if you've used their services in the past. So the first article I have, I found on, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced latestly. I don't think it's latest LI, so from latestly. And the headline is Udemy layoffs. U.S.-based EdTech major to lay off 280 employees amid restructuring, rehire at lower cost geographies, says report. And this was reported out of San Francisco on September 18th, so very recently. The U.S.-based EdTech firm Udemy is planning to announce its new round of layoffs as a part of a restructuring plan. The Udemy layoffs will reportedly affect 280 employees half of which will be rehired by the company for lower cost locations. Last year, Udemy laid off 10% of its workforce starting from February 2023 until the end of the year. Now, this is something that we've talked about before. You really can't get too comfortable at an organization. But the very minimum I think that everyone needs to do, unless you have tons of money saved up, unless you've been at a company for 15, 20 years and you feel very, very certain that they're gonna come out with an amazing severance package for you in case they get rid of you. But we're seeing about 20% of the workforce being eliminated. But this is over a year, so about a year and a half from February 2023 when Udemy laid off 10% of the workforce. So even though layoffs these days will cause a company's stock to rise. It'll increase shareholder value, make them feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside. It doesn't mean that it's really going to put the company in a good direction as far as the workers there. It doesn't mean that they, even though these companies, that, and we've read these articles, say they're getting rid of people who can't do the job. They're getting rid of underperformers. The reality is, that if they're going around and like Udemy, letting go of 10% of the workforce, I mean, that is a sign to get out. With this job market, I can completely understand if it's been a year and a half, 
and you don't have any other better option, but at least try, at least look, at least start the networking process when something like that happens, because then they're gonna go through again and get rid of 20% more. I mean, we've noticed a handful of companies where it's a good chunk are let go one year, and then even more are let go the next year, and Udemy's in that same boat here. The article goes on to say, according to a report by MarketWatch, Udemy will lay off its employees as part of its turnaround plan, which will be completed by March 2025. The report said that 280 employees would be affected by the job cuts decision due to the company's focus on restructuring its business. The Udemy's restructuring process will reportedly cost it around 16 million US dollars to 19 million US dollars. According to the stock analysis website, Udemy employed 1,443 employees as of December 31st, 2023. Therefore, the latest round of Udemy layoffs affecting 280 individuals will likely reduce around 19 to 20% of the company's workforce. And another thing we talk about all the time is there's two ways to increase your bottom line. You can make more money, which these companies are struggling to do. It doesn't seem like any company out there is like, oh, we're having, maybe they're having record profits, but it's at the expense of laying off a huge amount of their workforce or doing some other things that doesn't mean that the company is actually growing. They're having more profit, but certainly even if these companies are having record profits, I'm pretty sure if you look under the hood, it's because they're charging more money for things. So if a company like an automobile manufacturer or automobile seller says they're making tons of money, well, it's probably because their prices are at record highs and they're selling, maybe they're selling less units, but their cost per unit is definitely going up and that could really skew the numbers. And then the second way to increase your bottom line is to decrease your expenses. And with a return to office mandate by all these different companies, they're certainly not gonna sell their headquarters, they're not going to close up their offices downtown. No, the thing that they're going to do is one, lay off as many people as possible from their USA staff, and number two, offshore to another country. And it looks like Udemy is doing both of those things. And you can say, yeah, well, we're seeing 280 individuals, so yeah, it's 20%, but it's only 280 people. I'm sorry, I'm of the mindset that 280 people getting laid off at one time is still way too many. And I know we've expanded and grown our audience to now have some business owners in the comment section, but I'm not a business owner. I'm just a person who's worked in corporate America for 15 years, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna side on the fact, I'm gonna side with the workers who are working hard and doing the best that they can and doing whatever the C-suite asks them to do and it's still not enough to keep their own job. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna be biased in that direction. The article goes on to say that Udemy has initiated reducing its headcount because it witnessed a 40% decline in its market capitalization in 2024. The company recorded a USD $194.4 million revenue in quarter two, 2024. The report highlighted that Udemy, for the first time, experienced such a quarter-over-quarter -quarter revenue drop. It also said that the prime reason for the company's poor performance was its consumer revenues. According to a post by Class Central website, in the first quarter of 2024, Udemy's customer revenues decreased to $73.8 million from $79.2 million. This year, tech layoffs have affected thousands of people in the IT industry. Specifically, several major leaders in the ed tech industry reduced their workforce amid restructuring and cost cutting. Our second article today is from sfgate.com. And as always, all the articles I mentioned are listed down in the description below so you can read the full thing for yourself. I'm just gonna go over the highlights and how it pertains to what we're talking about today. The headline of this article is SF 
EdTech company worth $1.2 billion lays off hundreds, will rehire in lower cost places. And it says that Udemy, a San Francisco company that sells online education courses and training, is laying off 280 workers, but plans to replace some in what it is calling lower cost geographies. The new layoff round follows a strategic business update in July, which Udemy announced with the news that it had lost $50 million in the first six months of the year. The company vowed to shift its focus to larger customers and boost efficiency, in part by reallocating resources. In Monday's SEC filing, announcing the new layoffs, Udemy put a finer point on that idea. It expects to rehire approximately half of the impacted roles primarily in lower cost geographies. Udemy spokesperson Paxton Middleman told SFGate in a Friday email that more than 60% of the company's business comes from outside the United States and said the shift to cheaper areas will include both open positions and existing teams. We have undertaken this restructuring to ensure we remain a durable, competitive company well into the future. Middleman wrote, while we have no plans for additional layoffs at the time, we cannot guarantee future market conditions or corporate developments. They added that while workers were notified about whether they'd be laid off on September 12th, but said the actual cuts and moves would happen during the last three months of 2024 and first three months of 2025. Impacted Udemates, she said, will receive severance pay and help with continued health care coverage. Udemates, I've never heard the... Uh, we are a family group name for Udemy before. Middleman declined to answer SF Gate's question about the roles and locations of workers hit in this round of layoffs. Udemy is headquartered in San Francisco and has offices in Denver, Austin, India, Australia, Ireland, and Turkey. Udemy touted 69 million global learners in its end of 2023 filing with the SEC and has seen revenues grow over the past few years, but profits have remained elusive. The company's stock has dropped 40% since the beginning of 2024, so its valuation currently hovers around $1.2 billion. So there you have it, a company that at least I've done business with and have learned a lot from is laying off people and sending jobs overseas. And it seems like they already have a presence in places like India, so it should make the offshoring easier for them. And then also we learned that Udemy is worth $1.2 billion and they're still having layoffs. And they're gonna get let go of approximately 20% of the workforce, which is a pretty high percentage, but this is what's happened in 2024. If you have a job, just consider yourself very, very fortunate because a lot of people, due to no decisions or means or reasons of their own, are losing their jobs right now. And as many companies as possible are sending our, jo our American jobs overseas and no one's even trying to stop them. So let me know what you think about Udemy. Have you worked there before? Do you work there now? Or have you at least used their services? I'd love to chat with you about Udemy and their layoffs and how they're offshoring a bunch of their jobs down in the comments below. Talk to you later.